Hey, so today is Throwback Thursday, but instead of posting a photograph or an old video, I wanted to share with y'all something that's been weighing on my mind heavily. And that's this new trend in hip hop um, that I've been hearing since I've been out where, you know, you have all of these people yelling, free this one, free the bros, free the guys, or, you know, my homie got a hundred lives or whomever it may be. And um, let me first say that what I'm about to say has nothing to do with any individual person. Trust me, I don't know any of the guys that say this stuff. I'm making a general statement. While yelling free so-and-so or free this one, because people was doing it to me when I was in prison, free Mac. And uh, while it may be cool, and it may give the person who's saying it some sort of street cred, they, they appear to be keeping it real. Um, the reality is there are real human beings behind those names that these guys are yelling. And those human beings are in that prison hurting, wanting so bad to get home to their families. Trust me, I hate it every minute that I spent in that place. There were several people that made my time or tried to make my time as comfortable as possible. And while I thank them and I'm grateful for them, I still hated every freaking moment that I spent in that place. I don't care how much I smiled. I don't care about none of that. Every prisoner wants to get home to their families. Trust me. So with that being said, I'm of the opinion, if you're not actively doing anything to help free the guys or free the bros or whomever, then I think you're doing them a greater disservice by just yelling it, right? And one of the things that we can do as people out here is vote. Well, guess what? I can't vote. They took that away from me with this conviction, right? So with that being said, I wanna encourage everybody who can vote and who is registered to get out and vote. We have a very important gubernatorial election coming up in Louisiana, and I'm pretty sure there are elections all across the country. If you want to really help free your homies, vote. Trust me, I got out of prison through what was called clemency. Clemency basically is when you've exhausted all of your remedies, when all of the courts have shut you down, you basically petition the pardon and parole board, just putting yourself at their mercy and asking for some type of relief. And guess what? I was given it, and because there was a governor who was willing to listen and who was willing to read and who was giving people second chances and the benefit of the doubt, he signed off on my clemency and I was able to go. Now watch this, in contrast, the governor before him, the previous administration, what he did was he left hundreds of clemency still on his desk. One of my friends died in prison after he was granted clemency because the governor never signed it. He didn't even look at hundreds of applications that were on his desk. Why? Because he was one of these dudes that was of the opinion, well, prisoners need to stay in prison. I don't care how long you've done. I don't care how much you've been rehabilitated by the very things that the state institute um, for your rehabilitation. Some people just don't care. These are the same people that are pro-life yet for the debt penalty. I just want y'all to think about that. Now, I won't, I won't take any political stance one way or another. I'll just say that if you're of the opinion that your vote doesn't count and that the elections are already rigged and they already know who they're going to put in office, then guess what? The folks who may have a total opposite a political perspective as you wants you to believe just that. Because if you believe that, then you're not going to vote. And if you're not going to vote, they will. They're going to vote and they're going to make sure they continue to place the same people in these places that are going to govern your life. You may, be of the, of, you may be of the opinion that, well, you know, I'm not into politics. And that doesn't matter. Politics are into you. So you better get into politics and get active so we can really free the bros. Holla.